for Chevron is that we must understand that we can't take energy for granted. But clearly, we've seen today that people can be taken for granted. He went on very quickly to make sure we understood that Chevron is a good neighbor. He also mentioned the BP spill and said that the BP incident is a very personal incident for Chevron. And yet, we've seen today, Chevron does not want to hear your personal tales of Chevron's costs in your region. And then, in an attempt, a very weak attempt, to demonstrate Chevron's commitment to people and the environment, he showed a slide, a slide of a Chevron worker, on whose back a sign was placed on the back of his shirt saying, I will go home safely today. He said that that is the most important message for his company. However, what about all of the communities represented here today for whom going home is not safe because of Chevron's operations? He also said that it is very important to them, a motto of theirs in fact, to remember two things. We'll do it safely or not at all. And there's always time to do it right. And so I ask you, when is it time to do it right? Now is the time to do it right. Now is the time to do it right. In closing, he said that this past year, 2009, was a time in which Chevron is proud of itself for building legacies. Legacies that are represented by the speakers here today who have traveled from around the world, and which you can see very clearly on the signs being held up around us today. I think it's very important that we think about the legacy of Chevron, the true legacy, and not let your voices be stifled. Thank you.